guys, Tails here, back with another video now after months. I can finally show you guys what I and others have been doing on this avatar. Now, I thought of many different ways to do this, and I kind of figured just telling the story of how we got to where we are today in the last few months is probably the better way of doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, to start it off, we have the base, which is the null base. I'll go ahead and showcase that. Just give me one second. Now it all started when I was wandering around VKED in one of my videos and I found this base made by Zelvia Industries. Please say I said that right over on Booth. So if you guys want to go cop that, it's up on Booth for you to buy now and you can edit. I believe they're okay with any kind of edits. The disclaimers are all there. Go ahead and read them. At least when I read them, I believe that they're okay. And I hope to God they're okay after all this. But anyway, this is the original avatar base and I'm going to go ahead and switch back to mine now. And of course, I named my avatar too. It's called it Yuki Kiyama. It's really not that important. Moving on to the more fun stuff. So our story starts off. I am messaging a whole bunch of people on Booth, on Twitter, just seeing who is available for commissions. And as a VTuber who knows nobody and has zero connections, actually that's a lie, but everybody I knew was busy. So as a VTuber who had friends who were busy <laughs> and couldn't work on my commission, I had to find someone to work on the outfit and the designs for me. Actually, one of my friends did. Um, but to start things off, um, to find someone to work on my design, I was just on Twitter for weeks getting, you know, oh, I'm sorry I don't do commissions or reading uh, commissions open, but only for this or commissions open wait for like nine months and end up doing that anyway but then it's like wait for nine months and give us a thousand dollars i'm like ah i just want all these small things but it was all like you know start from scratch and i'll build your avatar from scratch it's like i just want you to like work on the one outfit whatever but i can see why because people make a lot more money making stuff for a group of people than they do for individuals more power to you if you're doing that but oh my god the suffering was real so i eventually found someone and let's just say um, it went well, but not well at the same time. And then I found another person on Twitter called the Third Penguin, thank God, who already did null base edits, who agreed to do edits on my avatar. But I am getting ahead of myself because before I was able to get a hold of the Third Penguin, I was talking to my friend Natch, good friend, very talented model maker, and I wanted him to make something for me, and I'm gonna go ahead and toggle those now. So what I went ahead and did was designed a couple of swords for my avatar and my good friend Natch put them together. I'm gonna open my hands here like, sorry your immersion, they're just gonna levitate in front of me so you guys can get like a proper look at them. And honestly, having my own designs put into this avatar was just insane, like watching these swords come to life and being like, oh god, <laughs> these are my designs. And Honestly, they look kind of badass, uh, not gonna lie. There's a sheathed version too that I'm gonna show off in a bit because if I try to wear it before the coat, um, it's gonna look a little weird. So, <laughs> so Natch, my good friend, uh, who I met a couple years back, modeled those for me and as I said, designing them, I think, I wasn't really expecting a yes at that point because it was after I was just facing all the no's and he's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, okay. So uh, I think in like an afternoon, I sat down and came up with those designs. Actually within a matter of hours, and I eat them off to him and like within two weeks I had sores. I'm like, dang. So I've been sitting on those sores for a long time but I'm glad that I can finally showcase those. I'll go back to those again in a little bit. But back to the third penguin. Uh, they were working on my my avatar too whilst this was happening they were working on the outfit for me also designed by myself now also note that when I say designed by myself I did the base designs but I also wanted the creators to put their own little flair into it too so although it's mostly my design they put their own little flares into it too because I like that I like yo just have some fun with it I don't care as long as it's close enough to my original design maybe you can make it better I don't know but anyway whilst all that was happening I was setting up various different toggles and animations on my avatar so it's not like I was ever just sat doing nothing I was like performing Perfecting stuff in the background and whatever. So, um, there's so much this I'm talking to do that I'm probably not. I'm gonna try and get to it all, okay? There's expressions that I've added to this avatar too. I'm not gonna go through them all because there's a lot of them and nobody really cares and you'll probably see them on the thumbnail anyway. So yeah, that was doing a lot of expression animations, figuring out that kind of stuff. All right, let's move it along, Tails. The third penguin, they were working on an outfit. Let me finally show you guys what that outfit was. All right, here it is, guys. After like five months, 
and whatever. It was more like I, was, I wanted to say it was more like 10 months at this point. I can finally show you guys this outfit that has actually been done for a while, but as I said, it's been like a month or so that it's been done now. But as I said, I was waiting on edits and stuff for other things, so I had to hold off, and this has been done for a little bit. This is again my design, but with a little bit of the model maker's flair thrown in, I'm probably going to turn off the colliders, which I thought I did to prevent that from happening, <laughs> but you know, um, I... I have a story for that too. Basically, I've had to rebuild this avatar at least five times in the last 24 hours, and I nearly had a mental breakdown. <laughs> but it's mostly rebuilt at this point. As you can see, there was a lot to rebuild because the last edit, the last and final edit, um, was putting in, like, removing the human ears and putting in, like, little fangs in the mouth, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but it's kind of a lot. There's also like a couple of minor tweaks that I needed doing. So for that part, <laughs> my good friend Misfit, like honestly, bless Misfit because throughout all of this, <laughs> she is my model making go-to person. So throughout all of this, she was like the first person I asked and she was busy. So yeah, so she was too busy to work on it. But throughout all this, I was asking her questions and all this kind of stuff. And then I would hit a rock, like hit a roadblock. and like, yo, Miss Vic, are you sure you can't work on this? She's like, no, I can't. I'm like, dang it. So I had to keep, <laughs> keep passing it along to the next person and all the, all the fun stuff. And eventually, I said, I messaged Misfit the other day, I was like, look, I just have the fangs in the ears and like something to fix up on the coat. Um, I, 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 I know the answer is going to be no, uh, so I'm just going to ask anyway. And she said, yes, <laughs> I was not expecting that. So yes, <laughs> and my good friend Misfit went and brought this avatar home and we are going to be doing some horror maps together and I'm very excited for that. I have been holding off on quite a few videos waiting for the showcase so I could use this avatar finished for those videos. So I'm so excited for that. That was part of my thing too. It's like she wants to do horror maps. I'm like, look, I can't until this is done. And then she's like, okay, I just wanted to help you out. And now we get to do horror maps. So that's fun. But yeah, yeah. Expect some horror maps and stuff now. I was going to show you guys the sheaths too. I was going to show you guys. Okay, so this is the sheath swords. Uh, Natch also did the belt too couldn't show that earlier because if I tried to toggle the belt before the coat was on it would just look kind of weird <laughs> like it's just just floating all over the place you know how it is model creation it's a fun time but yes I can now hold the swords and let me turn around so you guys can see the back very fancy I know <laughs> just top quality work from Natch as always Natch also by the way does have a gum road I'll give you guys a little preview actually of his work this is uh, one of Natch's models that you can get on Gumroad, and there's a couple of the avatars on there too. Obviously, he has like a wide variety, but this is his kind of style. Again, link will be in the description somewhere. Please help me remember to put these links in the video description. Uh, but anyway, this is his. This is his work. He's he's he he good. He, he do good. He make good stuff. He do good. Go check him out. Go buy his stuff. And yes, he does do commissions and has a whole thing going on. So very friendly person. Please go annoy him. <laughs> oh, he's never going to work on an avatar for me again, is he? Oh, I forgot that was a toggle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Although to be fair, I'm pretty sure I've just been annoying the heck out of anybody who's been working on my avatar this last few months. Oh, I've been trying so hard to like, I've just been so excited about it and I've been trying so hard not to be annoying. Again, bless Misfit who had to deal with all my questions throughout every stage, not just the part she worked on. And then my, I was so excited putting it together like the other night that I was just making all kinds of mistakes and she was just walking me through it and probably smacking her head against the, uh, the PC or, or a wall or something. Cause also she did the work for me, the fangs and everything. And then I, it, there was something off. And then I kind of realized the next day that, hey, there's a null S and there's a regular null. Like, the regular null's, like, taller and has, like, yeah. And then there's smaller one and she put it on the wrong one. So then she had to redo it. I felt so bad. And she did it. So thank God. <laughs> like, honestly. But yes, moving on. Okay, there's other things I need to show you guys. I'm going to get a 40 long minute video. Okay, you guys have seen me toggle the swords already. But have you seen me toggle the swords like this? 
I didn't think so. All right, we got magic swords. There's really no use to this other than for photography. Or, you know, if I'm in a dark map and lost, I can just summon the sun <laughs> and uh, navigate my way through some maps. Also, they're just kind of fun to wave around and lag everybody and uh, blind them with the sun. So that's cool. Yeah, another fun effect to show you guys. Here we go, the massive blur. All right, let, let me put let me put them away. At least for now, I'm gonna be bringing them back in a second. I'll turn off the sun. All right, cool. The sun is gone, guys. To the next toggle. There's still a little bit more to show you guys. Um, these are just like all the all the big stuff is mostly done at this point. But there's still the little fun stuff. Like you guys have seen edge mode before, right? But have you seen the swords change color? Have you seen my gloves change color? Now I you know what we're thinking. The white shirt looks a little off here. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and fix that for you. And there we go. Now it's black and it looks significantly better. Honestly, I was not a fan of the, like I had the edge version just cause I wanted to see my avatar with the black hair. And I'm like, you know what would be funny if I made it kind of edgy, like the edge Lord version. And I wasn't really a fan of it until I, cause I kept the outfits the same, like the coat was still black and then the uh, jacket was still black, the hoodie thing, but then I made it red. Uh, oh god, it makes such a difference. It looks so much better. It looks so much more badass like this. And now it's like honestly uh, probably my favorite version. There's no way to make the shirt toggle black with it. Um, I, I, I work with what I can around here. It's unity. You just try to work with what you got. Anyway, let me go ahead and also turn off the coat real quick. And this is the edgelord version with the hoodie on. I also wanted to show you guys that I do have a belt for when the hood's on. Two different belts, two different sizes. Look, we're working what we got. Some clothes are chonkier than others. We have to swap some stuff out. We have to do a little bit of magic, a little bit of unity and magic to create the immersion. All right, let's, let's go ahead and move on once again. And now I'm gonna trigger probably one of my favorite things. Hold on. Okay, sometimes the edge lord doesn't want to trigger off. I don't know why. <laughs> Just you will be edgy and you will like it. <laughs> but anyway, I am gonna go ahead and show you one of the favorite things. This was this actually came before the edge mode, and it's a little something I like to call God mode <laughs> because uh, I, I I wanted to see what the avatar looked like with like 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 yin yang kind of hair and uh, golden eyes. And then I thought it looked cool, so uh, <laughs> I went ahead and I I, I went all out. Um, <laughs> I, I just uh, you know dragons stuff, fun stuff. And it was like one of my favorite edits, and that's kind of what started everything. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the coat. There's so much switching going on right now. One sec, and this is the coat version of what I like to call God mode. All right. You think I'm done. I am not. Now, the swords have changed color. So it'd be kind of weird if I was still using like purple and blue magic on them, right? Which is why I've gone ahead and added more sunlight to my avatar. <laughs> the sun is here. I promise you it does not look this bright in, uh, <laughs> in other worlds. This world is particularly bloomy. So this, if I ever get lost, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to find my way out because I have the sun. The sun is on my side and also while I'm here showing you guys this it's probably a little less um, a shock now but if I toggle edge mode and then toggle as I have it listed edgy sword magic um, slightly less the sun but still the sun but now we have red and green magic. If you haven't noticed the similarities yet Look into my eyes, not around the eyes, look into my eyes, right, you're under, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun flailing these around for like pictures and stuff, or just because, <laughs> whenever I'm bored. Like, I pray for the day when VR chat puts in um, a use for uh, ed swords or anything. Like right now, they're just kind of there for looks. Also, the longer this video goes on, the more I'm not really minding that, but I, I'm, we'll see what happens, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> the struggle is real. I'm just, I'm gonna play with it now. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty, alrighty, well, what else can I do? Tails, haven't you done everything at this point? Uh, no, no I have not. So I'm gonna get rid of my coat. 
And I'm gonna get rid of the swords for now too because I don't wanna have to keep switching between belts because it is a pain. Go figure. Um, black black shirt, as you guys can see. I'm, I can toggle this for my regular look too, but since I'm already in edge mode, it's just black anyway. Actually, there's probably just one thing left to show you guys. And my friend Misfit was saying when she was working on the avatar, they're like, none of it's her custom stuff, so it's harder to work on. And I didn't fully understand that until I went through the suffering of trying to get this avatar put together. If you are trying to get other people to edit other people's avatars, I wish you the best of luck. It, 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 uh. <laughs> and I understand why. I really do. After all of this, I understand so much. I've learned so much. We have evolved. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, the last thing I want to show you with you guys is that I can wear a scarf. And this scarf was made by Misfit. <laughs> the thing that she made from scratch. This scarf months ago for a charity, actually years ago at this point, for a charity event we hosted. And I like, I like the scarf and I think it looks cool. So I put it on my avatar. And now I have a scarf. Yay. <laughs> okay. But I believe I have finally showed you guys everything. As I said, I went through a whole journey. Okay, I was standing there in the hoodie, but I should really be wearing the coat that I was waiting for months for. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I can toggle the gloves and the tie separately too. So there's basically a I can just mix and match everything, and I'm going to be having fun doing that. My videos are going to have a fair bit more variety in them as far as our, as far as outfits and looks are concerned. Whatever mood I'm in, but honestly, Edge Lord, Edge version has been uh, has been stealing the limelight for me lately. So we'll see, we'll see. But oh, it's been such a road. <laughs> it has been a road. It's been time. I learned so much. I picked up new skills along the way that I didn't know from other creators. I enraged a bunch of people, I'm sure. I put them through hell, but you know what? I paid them <laughs> for their hell. Uh, but I, I just, I never understood. Like I thought that, you know, starting out with this, maybe one or two people just eat off the avatar and it's done. And I think I went through about five or six people. <laughs> I, I, I did not, like I can do Unity, okay? Unity, all me, putting this avatar together. Like I said, I rebuilt it like five times last night, but doing all the animations and stuff, Unity, all me, all the model creating, all the everything, all the model stuff was created by somebody else. But you guys, it has honestly made me appreciate the avatar even more. Like I just love it that much more. And I was so excited when it was finally over. I have been wanting like the one of the biggest things that I wanted throughout this whole thing. Like I thought it was cool. I enjoyed getting everything, seeing everything that I designed come to life was just like, I never thought that anything like that would happen. Like, you know, you, you design something, you draw it, and then someone actually makes it and recreates it. And seeing it, like, you get to talk about those those creators who are like, seeing my artwork come to life. Like, you don't really appreciate it until it happens. And just watching your designs and being like, eh, this looks kind of cool on paper, but I guess it sucks in 3D. Oh, actually, it's really not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, getting to see the hard work of people and everything coming together was definitely the reward of this and now I get to play around in the avatar, have fun, make videos. So was it expensive? Yes. <laughs> was it worth it? Yes. Will I have an easier time in the future making other edits? Maybe all the hard stuff is kind of done at this point. It will just be outfits. Honestly, I, I, I lost my train of thought. I was saying before, the thing I was most excited for for this avatar was having the human ears removed and fangs put in. Because fangs are just cute. Who doesn't like little fangs? Um, but honestly, human ears and like animal ears has always been a weird concept to me. Like the Noel avatar came with dog ears, as you guys saw, and human ears. Like, why, why do I need like a bunch of ears? I just need one set. So having those removed <laughs> was a huge deal for me. And having the fangs in. And ironically, of course, it was the hardest thing to do and the hardest thing to get help with. But we got it. We did it. We finally did it guys. We're finally there. We can finally finally move on with our content um, Another thing too um, is I was holding off a lot um, on stuff 
to wait for this. And I was kind of hitting a point where I'm like, oh god, <laughs> I just, I really, I really, I really want this to be done so I can like progress on and do those things. But we're here, and I have been trying so hard not to make a video, just showing off what was already done. That was the biggest thing too. It was like holding back, wanting to post pictures of I've been taking on Twitter of this avatar because every step of the way has just been a crazy adventure. Like I said, I've learned so much as like in unity i've learned new skills i basically to make this avatar i've used everything that i've learned since like month two of vr chat and avatar building to do this and i can remember actually being in a it, like when i first joined vr chat and looking at the avatars and basically it was like a step from a png avatars back then couldn't really do anything but I remember sitting there and looking at people uploading avatars. I'm like, oh my god, I could never do that. <laughs> Look at me now, future tales. Just take the time to learn it. Uh, s just, but Blender though, we are, we're not simpatico. Uh, we, Blender is not my friend. Whenever I put something in Blender, it just explodes. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I can't. Blender, I've tried. I, I Trust me, I've tried. I can put in an MMD and convert it to an FBX. But let's be real, um, it's an MMD. Uh, I went through that phase. Uh, now that I have this, I never really want to go back. MMDs are fine, but this is just so much better. Booth is so much better. <laughs> um, money, of course, it's always worth it. Pay creators for what they do, like, you know, and you'll get quality for it. This whole avatar is a homage to that. I'm so done with MMDs. I'm so excited to finally have an avatar that I can use for my channel. I'm so excited to have an avatar that I can finally fully say is mine and utilize like it was fine having the original version and stuff and you know my middle edits but it didn't feel custom enough and now i feel like it's custom it's involved this is where we are we're finally here we have arrived it took about a year <laughs> but <laughs> we are here anyway i'm gonna end the video guys i hope you enjoyed my poorly thought out showcase I I thought about like going a little harder with this video and maybe doing some fun little showcasey cinematic scenes, but I'm like, you know what, that's really not the vibe. At least not for this video that I'm going for. And I'm, I have a lot to get through, so I'm just gonna talk. But I hope you guys like the new avatar, and if you don't, oh well. And with that, I'm gonna switch out of edge mode, because I just kind of realized that I've been using that for like a couple weeks now. You guys haven't seen the new stuff. Did I even turn around with this and show you guys the dragons? I don't remember. Oh, uh, the tail changes too. Like, I, I don't know if you guys saw that too. Like, the, the tail. It, it changes color. Yay. <laughs> uh, to match the hair. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the con. Actually, wait. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to toggle off the black shirt. Like, it looks fine, but it kind of hides the tie because they're both black. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to everybody who suffered through working on this avatar. It really means the world to me to finally have it done, to see everything, as I said, everything come to life. It, it's just so amazing. So thank you guys for your support and your patience. I announced this months ago and there were just so many delays, but here we are. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Good boy. Mr. Mr.